The Ka-50, also nicknamed the Chernea Akula, Black Shark, was a Soviet attack helicopter. Its NATO reporting name was Hokum. The Ka-50 was planned as a rival to the Mi-28 in a competition to provide the Soviet armed forces with a new battlefield attack helicopter. Kamab opted for a single crew layout to save weight for more armor, more powerful armament, and a greater number of advanced sensors. The first of three V-80 prototypes made its maiden flight on June 17, 1982. In October 1986 the Ka-50 was selected for production. With the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia faced military budget cuts. Production of the original Ka-50 was stopped with only around 10 of these helicopters ever built. In 2000 a pair of production Ka-50 helicopters was used during the Second Chechen War, where these gunships were basically tested by the Russian military to evaluate the type. However the original Ka-50 never reached full operational capability. Though its two-seat version, the Ka-52 was produced in significantly larger numbers. Unusual feature of the Ka-50 is that it is operated by a single pilot. Most other attack helicopters are operated by a crew of two, including pilot and gunner. On the Ka-50 a single pilot performed both flying and navigation duties, as well as controlled the weapons. The workload was similar to that of a ground attack aircraft pilot. In case of emergency the pilot can escape the helicopter via a K-37 ejection seat after the rotor blades have been explosively separated. It was another novel feature of this attack helicopter. The core of the Ka-50's weapon system is the tube-launched Vik anti-tank missile, of which 16 are carried. It is capable of defeating even the most protected main battle tanks. The Ka-50's cannon has variable rates of fire and selective feed from two ammunition boxes. Survivability is enhanced by features including infrared suppression of the hot exhaust gases, layered cockpit amor and chaff slash flare dispensers in wing tip pods. Later revision of the requirement to emphasize night combat capability led to a reassessment of the Ka-50, whose production was postponed, in the light of the two-seat Mi-28's apparently greater developability for the task.